using psychedelics to treat postpartum and long-term depression. That's the focus of studies coming to UNM. News 13's Annalisa Pardo talked to the lead researcher and has more. Psychedelics have long been known for their reality-altering effect, but could they also be an answer to mental health? That's what researchers like Dr. Larry Lehman are trying to find out. We're, we're excited because these studies have been happening in other places, but you know, we've had not very many at UNM. University of New Mexico Health Sciences researchers have two studies looking into psilocybin, found in what is commonly known as magic mushrooms. One study looks into if a compound of psilocybin could quickly treat those suffering from postpartum depression. The hope is that this one may work more rapidly. I mean, it, it is related to psilocybin and psilocybin and, and other studies has been shown to work within, you know, relatively short period of time of days. The second study looks into how psilocybin can help with depression. Some of the things that this study is looking at that is, is different is we're looking at do some people need multiple doses over a year? And what are the longer term outcomes? Participants will be monitored by researchers at their psychedelic therapy room and evaluated for 54 weeks. I really try to distinguish between uh, using them therapeutically, which is what we're focusing on, in a safe setting with, uh, with trained therapists. It's the kind of research the state is encouraging. This past regular legislative session, the Senate unanimously passed a resolution urging New Mexico Department of Health and UNM Health Sciences to study psychedelics as treatment. Senator Stephanie Lord sponsored the legislation. When I have, you know, friends that do a PTSD and it, it, it's hard, you know, because it, it's hard to find the right help and to get the help and nobody wants to live with that. So if anything that we can do to help the people is what matters. And while these studies aren't a direct response to that resolution, Dr. Lehman says they do fit into what lawmakers are asking for. The studies so far are promising that psilocybin has been given what we call breakthrough drug status by the FDA. So it looks promising. Annalisa Sapardo, KRQE, News 13. Psilocybin is still illegal in the United States. The results of these studies could contribute to it becoming FDA approved for medical treatment. If you're interested in participating, we have more information on our website, krqe.com.